Okay, this is Andrew, and he built a circuit here, and I'd like you to describe what you built. Well, I built here a motor control circuit, so I used a few different components. We used um, a 555 timer setup, which uh, controls or creates a uh, pulsing output. Um, but instead of using the output of the uh, 55 timer, we're actually just using um, the capacitor voltage as it charges and discharges. Um, we're using that to go into a comparator here, and it's going to compare it against a, a voltage divider network to uh, create a PWM signal that we can um, change the duty cycle easily with this uh, potentiometer here. And that's how we achieve our motor speed control. Um, when we turn it down, it uh, creates a very small pulse width, and then we turn it up, it creates a way longer pulse width, so it's on most of the time. Then, um, we have some logic, oh, you're good. We have some logic set up here to uh, turn the motor on and off. We have two different switches. When we hit switch one, it clocks this latch here, which will latch in a one on its data line that we have tied high. And then when that happens, it's gonna send a one to this AND gate. And then when these are both high, it's gonna output our PWM signal here to this MOSFET, which will drive the motor. And then from the motor, we just have it um, bonded with another motor, which uh, generates a th uh, three phase AC signal uh, that we have hooked up to some transformers to uh, step up the voltage, and then we have it connected to a Y load here. Cool. So we're making three phase power on a low voltage scale. So there's your motor speed controller, there's your motor generator set, and there's a transformer bank. Cool. Let's go ahead and start it up and shut it down. Yeah. All right, press start. We're at full speed right now, so I can turn this knob down. Or I guess up. I'll turn it back down. Then we'll do stop switch. Cool, very good. All right, well thank you very much.